All right, we're back with Jennifer Lopez, and uh, so she says she's single at the moment, but uh, too busy and doesn't have time for first dates and stuff. So we're going to find a man uh, for her in a game we call Who'd You Rather? Y'all, word on the streets is that J-Lo was ready to show off a new man. Can you believe it? It seemed like just yesterday she was all lovey-dovey with Ben Affleck. But y'all, a lot has changed in a little bit of time. Let's break it down, shall we? So according to a blind item, your girl J-Lo is itching to debut her new boo. And when I say itching, I mean she's practically scratching herself raw. This A-list diva wants the world to know that she's moved on faster than you can say Benifer. But you know, when J-Lo and Ben got back together, it was like a fairy tale, right? Well, turns out that fairy tale might have been more like a business deal. Some folks are saying J-Lo only hooked up with Ben to take the sting out of getting dumped by A-Rod. Y'all, it's just cold. But here's the real tea. J-Lo's already got her eyes set on the next prize. And get this, there's even a betting site taking wagers on who her next man might be. Can you believe it? They've got odds on everybody from Eminem to Leonardo DiCaprio. I mean, girl, slow down. The ink on your divorce papers aren't even dry yet. Now let's talk about this divorce though. J-Lo filed these papers super fast and you know what she did? She asked to drop Ben's last name. That's right. She wants to go back to being Jennifer Lynn Lopez. I guess Mrs. Affleck didn't have the same ring to it after all. But here's the gag. J-Lo supposedly didn't even want this divorce. A little birdie told me she wanted to work things out with Ben. But your boy Benny decided to pull a Houdini and disappear from the whole entire marriage. Now J-Lo's out here trying to save face and act like she's already ready to move on. Y'all, I gotta say, I'm a little bit worried about your girl J-Lo. It seems like she just can't stand being single for more than five minutes. It's like she's allergic to being alone or something. I mean, we've all been there wanting someone to cuddle up with on a cold night. I mean, we've all been there wanting someone to cuddle up with on a cold night, but J-Lo takes it to a whole new level. Remember when she was with A-Rod? As soon as that ship sank, she jumped right into Ben's arms and now that Ben's out of the picture, she's already on the hunt for her next victim. Uh -huh. I mean, boyfriend, because girl, take a breath. But you know what? Maybe this is just JLo's way of living her best life. She's out here collecting men like their Pokemon cards. And honestly, I can't be that mad at her. But let's think about who this mystery man could be. The betting odds are favoring Eminem of all people. Can you imagine J-Lo and Slim Slim Shady together? That would be interesting, but don't count out A-Rod just yet either. Cause J-Lo is known to spin the block and some folks think he might be trying to slide back into J-Lo's DMs. I mean, he did post that cryptic message right after the divorce news broke. Coincidence? I don't think so. And then there's The Weeknd, Bad Bunny, and even Matthew McConaughey on the list. Although, let's be real, Matthew McConaughey is happily married, so unless J-Lo's planning on being a homewrecker, which I doubt, we can probably scratch him off the list. But I gotta say, part of me feels for J-Lo. Relationships in Hollywood can be tougher than a $2 steak because everybody's watching your every move, waiting for you to mess up. And when you do, it's splashed all over the tabloids and blogs and Snapchat channels. But listen, you got to take time for yourself, J-Lo. Learn to love your own company. Treat yourself to some spa days, binge watch some Netflix, eat a whole pint of ice cream, do whatever makes you happy without a man by your side. Well, let's not forget about Ben and all this. He's just probably nursing his bruised ego right about now, but don't worry about him too much because he's been spotted hanging out with a Kennedy. You know those Kennedy girls always ready to swoop in and save a damsel in distress. But what's next for J-Lo? But if I was a betting woman, which I'm not, because mama didn't raise no gambler, I'd say we'll be seeing her with a new man on her arm before the year is out. Maybe even before the leaves start changing colors. But definitely before Santa could say ho, Ho, ho.